and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, this is T-Unit, and we're back with WWE Champions, and another six-star silver character gameplay preview video. Today, we got Zombie Asuka, not to be confused with Trickster Asuka, but uh, we got the gear, matching all color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. Pretty common gear for people to have at this point if you've been playing for a long time. Um... We're going to try a couple of things here. Now, usually on my videos recently for older people, I've been going one build. We're going to go two builds. I want to show you this build first, updated, because if you got <laughs> a special couple skill plates, you can make this work. But you've got to have challenge of our rival and a movable object. And I know not everybody's going to have this combo. And you could probably get by with just one of them if you don't have both. But it, this is a sure thing here. It's a sure thing. It's just, it's going to be a little slow. We're going to have those plates. We're going to have double fury two, 100% gem damage strap. Like always, um, we got two yellow moves, seven and eight charge that are going to spam black gems. And then we got an 11 turn sub. It's low damage, but 11 turns. It's going to leave behind some power gems. So we're going to go Kofi for four yellow, Cena for two yellow, also for the two, uh, or for the 45% yellow gem damage. That's six MP. Santa Hogan gets you to seven, one for your turn to eight, so we can turn one both the yellows. We're going to use Zombie Sean to create three more black gems. Um, you could use Riddle to create two more. You could use Hall of Fame Bree to create two more. So um, you've got a couple options here. If you're running with tour perks on a tour and you want to use her, you won't need to have Cena on here. So you could use Titus, and then you could use a uh, black flat gem damage coach. To make you hit a little harder. This is like a feud build though. So it's consistent. And it'll work if you got these plates. You'll recycle all day if you got these plates. Okay. Seven random gems. Into black gems. Boom. Oh, and there you go. Boom. It spams that yellow back. We recycled yellow. We're good to go. She'll hit here. Okay, she cascaded. That's good. Now we'll have control of the rest of the match. That was like her one chance. So now we're going to hit her with that 11 turn sub. We're going to hit her with that 11 turn sub. We're going to absolutely melt all of her move points away. Maybe not all of them. She looks like she got a lot. Okay, it's going to be all of them. Yeah, it uh, didn't hurt very much. 20k a turn, so um, not even 300,000 damage for it, but we're right back on the attack, spamming black gems. China? Yes. Uh, 14 million. So we've already taken about 4 million health away. And I haven't really lost any health. That's the key here. It's safe. Okay, we got that to hit. We've got some power gems on the board. She's not ready, so I don't need to hit my sub yet. I can go ahead and swipe yellow there. Plate triggers, do about a million damage. I'm just going to keep doing damage until I'm in danger. Of being a hit with a move and then I'm gonna hit my sub because my subs not really doing any damage my subs literally just to keep me safe and I'm just gonna keep spam and black gems so if you're going against somebody who needs to charge black moves this might not be the greatest thing to do there's a three and a half million bomb okay and got the W there pretty handily against a six-star silver that would have taken another five minutes which is not great um, but I just wanted to I just wanted to show that she had something that was safe. Now we're gonna get out here and we're gonna try her power gem build and see if we can actually do any damage. Stay tuned. Okay, so we did go with uh, the blue blue black here, the power gem build. We got a two charge, a seven charge, and a nine charge. We got to get to that seven charge blue. So we got Lawler for four MP. We got Big Dust for. Two blue MP plus fifty percent add on to power gems that'll help. We got Riddle for twelve or thirteen K flat power gem. We got Bliss for twenty five percent power gem, but that's still only a one by five area to fifty three thousand. It's not good. 
on the title we went with a bad attitude plate so whenever we break three or more blue gems you get three black mp and then we got the heart stopper plate so every time we activate a blue move increase our blue gem damage by 50 percent for one turn those i mean not doing a whole whole lot with the plates if you don't have either of those plates who cares it's not really gonna matter for this build but the idea of the bad attitude is whenever we hit the pop-up knee strike it would auto fill the spinning back fist with it so we could potentially hit that spinning back fist twice in a turn if we can manage to keep some power gems on the board. Sorry. All right, we only got three blue there. That's not great. But that filled up this, though. You see that black move did fill up. So the bad attitude did pay off this time. Uh, we're going to go ahead, put our power gems down, and then we're going to destroy the three random gems. Okay, so um, in chat, I'm being told, and I had forgot because it's pretty new, that Nikki Bella will give you 50% power gem uh, damage. Um, I could go back and redo this whole segment because of it. It's not going to make a big difference. Like, you should do that if you're watching this and you're hearing this. That's what you should do. It's not going to be worth re-recording this over because 25% of the baseline, like, it's only going to add on a couple thousand more damage for Power Gem to change that. So, but that is a good shout. All right, we're going to take the blue match. That's going to charge the black again. So we're only doing like 400k a swipe. At six star silver using power gems, you should be hitting a lot harder than that. So the other setup was at least more colorful. The other setup, you had to have two super rare plates to run. This is what people are more likely to be running. We need to get that filled first this time. This, like I said before I started recording, this moveset is really made to work at like a five-star gold level max. If you're five-star gold going against a five-star gold, you're probably good. Six-star silver against six-star bronze, still struggling here. That's not good. Hey, seven, we almost did a million damage there. Listen, I'm going to leave you with that on the power gems. It's not it, Chief. Run the other build if you can. And if you if you can help it, just maybe stay away from Alex. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>